All right, so finally, you also want to get into virtual reality, probably because you want to play Beat Saber or you want to watch movies in virtual reality. But you don't know in early 2019, which one of all these VR headsets is the right one for you. In this video, within around 10 minutes, I'm going to give you my recommendation based on your budget and based on which devices you already have at home, which VR headset is the right one for you. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. It is early 2019 and you're wondering which VR headset to buy. Now, before I give you my recommendation, let me tell you why I think that I'm in a position to give you this advice. Well, I have all the VR headsets that are on the market. I've reviewed them all and I've even checked out the headsets that are not on the market yet. So therefore, I believe I can help you to make an educated decision. We're going to look at different scenarios about the devices that you have at home and about the budget, the money that you want to spend. So for the first scenario, you don't have a gaming PC and you don't have a PlayStation 4. Now, the first budget is $250. You don't want to spend more than $250, but you want to get into VR. Now, in this case, you should go for the Oculus Go. The Oculus Go is an amazing standalone headset. So you don't need a gaming PC, you don't need a PlayStation 4, and you don't need to put a mobile phone into it. This is all you need. And what can you do with it? Well, you can play simple VR games and you can watch all kinds of movies. 3D movies, uh, normal movies on a big screen. This is a really cool device, but you will not be able to play the more demanding games, like for example, Beat Saber, because, well, you only have one controller and you only have three degrees of freedom, so you can look around, but you cannot move within VR. Still, this is a very solid choice for people with a budget of $250. In the case that you want to spend up to $500, I would recommend you to get probably a used PlayStation 4 and a PSVR. The PSVR is an amazing headset. You will be able to play Beat Saber and all these games. It's much more advanced than the Oculus Go and it's going to be lots of fun for you. So why that is the case, please have a look at a whole video that I made about this topic here. If you are more of a casual gamer though, and if you would prefer a wireless setup, then it might be worth for you to wait until probably May to get the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest will be a standalone headset where you again don't need a PlayStation 4 or a computer or actually anything, but you will still be able to enjoy a fantastic VR experience. But I must let you know that probably not all the epic games, like for example, Skyrim will be running on the Oculus Quest because it's a mobile processor and it's not going to be as powerful as what the PSVR has to run it. In the third case, money is of no concern to you and you simply want to have the latest and greatest, the VR system that will give you the best immersion. In this case, I would recommend you to get a gaming PC with an RDX 2080 Ti graphics cards and the Pimax 5K+. Plus. The Pimax 5K+, Plus gives you the best visuals right now and the best field of view and this should be your choice. In the second big scenario, actually you do have a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Pro at home, but you also don't have a gaming PC. Now for this scenario, all my recommendations stay the same, but for the budget of $250, I would not recommend the Oculus Go, but instead, of course, you should go for the PlayStation VR. So now let's get to the third scenario. You do have a gaming PC at home and you would like to get a headset for it. So let's first talk about the $250 budget. In this case, I recommend you to get the Lenovo Explorer. The Lenovo Explorer is a very nice headset. It has a better resolution than Rift and Vive, and you can play all Steam VR games, and you should be able to get this for around 200 US dollar, which is a great price. Now, sometimes you will even see the Samsung Odyssey, the original Samsung Odyssey for a price of $249. If this is the case, and if you can get the headset for this price, you should prefer the Samsung Odyssey since it's better than the Lenovo Explorer. 
Now, if you want to spend up to $500 for your PC VR headset, it does get a bit more complicated because it really depends on what is important for you. Now, if for you the best image quality is the most important, then I recommend the Samsung Odyssey Plus to you. This has the best visual quality at the moment. It's much better than the Vive Pro and all the other VR headsets that are on the market right now, thanks to their anti-SDE technology. So definitely an amazing buy and you can get it for $499, but sometimes you get great discounts. And at the moment even, you can get this for $299, which is an absolute steal. But if image quality is not the most important factor for you, but instead the perfect controller tracking is, in that case, I would recommend the original HTC Vive to you. Controller tracking is perfect. It's using the Valve Lighthouse system. And that's also an advantage because the HTC Vive, as opposed to, for example, the Samsung Odyssey or also the Oculus Rift, has a clear upgrade path. So if the visuals here are not good enough for you anymore, you can upgrade this to the Vive Pro or even to one of the Pimax headsets. In the very last case, money is of no concern to you and you already have a gaming PC. Well, upgrade that gaming PC so that you have an RTX 2080 Ti and also go for the latest and greatest in the VR market right now. And that would be the Pimax 5K Plus because it has the best visuals and the widest FOV. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them. Also, if you don't agree with me, and if you say, hey, why didn't you put the Oculus Rift anywhere there? Please do leave your comments in the comment section and we can start a discussion there. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.